It's the day after Thanksgiving and the belt doesn't fit. Okay, so we've come out today to Flat Fork Creek Park with two different drones. Well, actually two pretty much identical drones now that I say that out loud. This one has the DJI FPV air unit, the original, and this is the brand new Caddx DJI Nebula Nano. So it's a nano sized camera that is in this with the Caddx Vista Pro. And we're gonna kind of do the two kind of side by side. So we'll see what the picture looks like out of the regular DJI FPV air unit and then compare that to the little tiny baby camera that's in this guy and see if it's something that's worth installing in drones in the future. Now, obviously the size of this drone is not important, right? It, uh, there, there's not really necessary to put like super night nano camera in there, especially when this fits the air unit just fine, but we didn't have the right drone to like put like a micro camera in there because there hasn't there hasn't really been a nano cam worth anything to do right because this one is actually 120 fps it can switch between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 so like this should be ostensibly the same camera as the actual original air unit just in a much smaller form factor so that's why i'm really excited about it because of the implications of what this could do in the future for smaller micro drones little city whoops snake and gopro setups all that kind of stuff so let's get out and make sure that it lives up to the original in some way or another so when newbie drone sent us the cinema frame they also sent out these uh, maple wireless antennas to check out not totally sure why i'm stoked that they sent them i'm excited to play with them i think they look really cool uh, especially with like the print on the back and stuff like that so we'll throw these on and I, i'm not going to do any like hardcore range testing or anything like compared to the other antennas or the axi antennas or the stock antennas but hey if they work and they look cool and you like them you know where they're at so let's wander back in the woods where we can get some like dynamic range testing right hot to cold to dark to low to high to fast to slow all those things that you need fpv cameras to do the dog definitely peed on that rock <laughs> so first We'll fly regular air unit. Remember what that's like. Keep it in top of mind. Then we'll switch over to the new Nebula Nano. Caddx did send this product to me for free. They did not ask to see the video before I publish it or have any sort of feedback on it. And uh, obviously I've taken really good care of it. Our opinions are our own. We're sharing what we want to share and no one is censoring us on that or paying us to say something different. So, so first we're gonna fly the normal air unit and uh, just remind ourselves of what that experience is like. We go under. Yep. I'm a professional. Like the best part about flying through trees like this is just like put it up sideways and see how many knife edges you can do before you hit something. <laughs> Yep, that's an air unit. Not a lot of notes there. It just, we all know what an air unit flight feels like. It feels great. Great picture. You can see everything except for most of the ninja branches. But <laughs> now I'm going to switch over to the Nebula Nano and you can kind of see a comparison between the DJI air unit and the Caddx Nebula. It's so cute. So this is the same exact setup except on the Nebula camera. Let's see if it has a good picture. Tell the difference. Just cruising around, trying to see if there's any like noticeable latency difference. Honestly, like this, I, if you told me that this was a different camera, I could, I wouldn't be able to tell. Perfect, perfect. Um, but yeah, so like maybe it, like the backsides of trees, like the parts of trees that are in the dark are a little bit darker than they were, so like maybe a little bit more contrast. But in terms of anything else, like I can't really tell the difference. Like the latency is the same. I'm still seeing 22 milliseconds, 22 to 28, depending on 
how many trees we're going through. My level of control is the same, so like it's not, I'm not hesitating flying at all because of latency. Where I may have with uh, like the Runcam Phoenix, which was running at 60 FPS instead of 120. That was pilot error. What's going on? You got something loose. <laughs> you must I, have like a flight the controller. Pilot, the flight loose. controller must be loose or something. That was crazy. I've never had a drone just straight oscillations like I have that. Had that. I was like, I was so close to controlling it too, but. It looked good the whole time. <laughs> Apart from my drone not actually working, the picture was solid. Really the only thing, like, if you look at, for example, this tree here, it's like, it's a darker looking tree. And I saw, like, looking at this tree, it looked darker here than the other one did. So, like, it was, so I wonder if, like, transitioning into low light or flying in the dark would be more of a problem. But it also was just more contrasty, which is just, that just happens with cameras, so. Yeah, honestly, like, I can't tell the difference. I think when Winston flies, we shouldn't tell him which one we plug in and uh, make him guess which one it is. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm gonna swap these uh, blue props to the back of the other drone so that Winston cannot tell which drone is which, and he's gonna fly them, and he's going to decide which camera he's looking through. I'll make sure that all the settings are identical. And the only thing that's different in this range, in this location, the only thing that he should be able to tell the difference of is picture. Are you ready for your test, sir? I like blind tests. All right, put your goggles on, I'll give you a drone. This is drone number one. Let me know when you got video. Oh, starting DVR. See that? Flying a high KV motor that I'm used to with no weight on it, <laughs> with no camera angle whatsoever and rates I'm not familiar with, in a spot that has nothing but invisible branches. Luckily it's only about the picture. Jesus, this is so weird. Alright, so overall experience from what I can see right now, everything looks as what I'm used to. I got the, you have the focusing stuff on, which I'm, I actually turn off on online. These both have the identical focus settings. Perfect. Yeah, like that tree looks freaking great. The one you were talking about, you walked over. I don't think you'll be able to tell. I, I'll be surprised if I can tell. I'm gonna try, but. Try dude. some snappier stuff, see if you can tell any latency. I don't know your or... fucking read. Oh, you, you, you're just giving a roll. Yeah, and nothing but invisible branches and your rates being weird. Okay. Picked up the drone. All right, I'm plugging in the drone that you will be flying this time. I am switching the drones. This one will be in the exact same spot that you took off, so you can't fake that. Our main taking off. Same powertrain, same battery, so you shouldn't. <laughs> you you can't tell the difference on that. I'll guarantee that. Yeah, I'd say it looks the same. There's like maybe a five percent difference in the dark shadows there, but negligible. Like I I really can't say there's a difference to be honest. Let me get back here a little bit. I really can't tell, oh geez. Really can't tell a discernible difference on this at all. It looks the same. There's a little bit less of the focus stuff, but that has nothing to do with the camera, I don't, from what I understand. You're correct. So overall, I really can't tell a difference with this. Latency-wise, let me see if I can do some flips and rolls in a safe spot. Oh, hey there. Quick moves, yeah. Ooh, hey, hey. Oh, I had it. Yeah, I think, so what I'm looking for, and I think the biggest difference between these two cameras will be is that the lens is wider on the standard camera, any of the larger standard cameras, so it's gonna let in more low or more light just because the aperture is larger. So my thought on this is daytime should be identical performance. Low light might be a little bit different, but I can't see too big of a thing. So to sum this up, I can't tell the difference. Both of these cameras look awesome and what I'm used to when it comes to the DJI quality. This will be nice if you can fly micro drones with the camera that's the same quality as what you have on the full size air unit. So yeah, air unit light with a nano camera especially, yeah. What drone do you think you flew second? Uh, I'm gonna say the second one was the uh, standard camera and air unit, mainly because the tune sounded better. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all the same. Yeah, I can't tell. So yes, this was the... Second one? Uh, this is the Nano, yeah. and this is the second one you flew. I mean, it's no difference. That's even the, the flips and rolls and stuff, latency-wise, like, yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, 
That's pretty cool. That's nice to have a nano cam. I don't have many nano stuff, but I might have to now. <laughs> okay, so I think that the blind test is kind of the coolest example of what is powerful about this, right? You've got this tiny little camera that can fit in just about anything. Obviously, the air unit is still a little bit bigger, but there's also like a naked version of the air unit that people sell now, too. So the naked version of that, plus this micro camera, we should be able to get that into some pretty small drones. Obviously, we chose to use two of the exact same drones so that it was kind of like a blind test for Winston to be able to try to pick out which one. And, and he, Winston is way more picky about what he flies than I am. Like, I'm like, oh, it's oscillating. It's fine. And it'll come out and post. Winston's like, no, I will. I refuse to fly this piece of garbage. No, I'm just kidding. No, I just fix it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so that's a, that's actually a really solid test that uh, he can't tell the difference. So what I so I'm really excited about this smaller form factor matching up to the quality of the original air unit. It's going to give us more options for availability for things to purchase, and then we can also start to see some really cool small drones, especially for, you know, I think about like a naked GoPro build now can use a smaller camera, smaller setup, uh, or, you know, combine it with like a small uh, FPV wing or something like that. I'm really excited about the Caddx Nano camera, and I can't wait to see what other things we can find to put it in now that we know it's exactly the same performance as the original air unit. All right, let's go get out of the cold, get warmed up. As always, the Caddx products are gonna be available in the link in the description below. If you decide to purchase them, you support the channel, you support us finding more warm weather gear to get out in the woods and be able to film, because <laughs> we only have one pair of gloves. Winston's currently wearing mine, <laughs> and I'm just kind of, we're, we're just, we're making it work. So if you can help us get some warmer clothes, that would be great by purchasing this thing through affiliate links. Thanks very much for watching, subscribe, all that stuff, stay flying.